Kittens, puppies, cubs and calves. We've all seen these babies and know what they look like, but what about the cubs, which will be a novelty for many? For example, the larvae of another larva that looks like an alien, or the cubs of the most unusual bats in the world. It's worth a look, you'll be surprised. Now I will show you the most unusual and cute baby animals that you will see for the first Who do you think it is? The cub of a well-known animal? Or something not yet studied? If you thought about the first, then you guessed right, it's actually a platypus. This is what these unusual Australian animals look like after birth. At birth, baby platypuses reach no more than 5 cm in length, usually they are generally less than 3 cm. At first, the cubs live in a hole, at 17 weeks they begin to go hunting, and a year later they become adults. And here's someone else unusual. Most likely, you have never seen either this creature or its cub. If so, then get acquainted, this is a white leaf bear that lives in Central and South America. And yes, it's a bat. As for me, this is already unusual, because we are used to bats being black and creepy, but this is a completely different case. In addition, white lionoses are vegetarian bats, they eat fruits. A newborn white lion is a cute and amazing baby. In fact, all the lions are tiny. Even adults do not exceed 5 cm in length, and weigh less than 10 grams. The cubs are about three times smaller. At first, they are held by the mother's body until they become too heavy for further wearing. When the mother leaves the dwelling, and her cubs are taken care of by other females. At the age of 20 days, the grown-up offspring can already fly, and after 35 days of age it becomes completely independent. Now the lionesses can do the same thing as adults, hide in the leaves of the heliconia and eat fruits. Dick, dick cubs of white leaf noses are not so easy to distinguish from adults, because they are all small. It's about the same story here. Dick diki are miniature antelopes from Central and Eastern Africa. Adults are very small, they reach 70 centimeters in length, and weigh no more than 6 kilos. The cubs of the wild dicks are even smaller, although in general they almost immediately look the same as their parents. They weigh at least a kilogram and can fit in the palm of a person. For the first couple of months, these crumbs feed on mother's milk, after which they gradually get stronger and switch to more serious food. The diet of dick dicks is similar to the diet of giraffes, it is grass and leaves. By the way, because of this diet, dick dickies drink very little. They get the main moisture together with vegetation. Axolotl. The next hero of the collection is a unique case, because he himself, in fact, is a cub. Axolotl is the larva of some amphibian species from the Ambistomaceae family. The main ability of the axolotl is the ability to reproduce before turning into an adult form and without undergoing metamorphosis. Even grown-up axolotls look very unusual, and their cubs resemble some alien creatures at all. The head of the axolotl is very large and wide, disproportionate to the body. The creature's mouth is also wide, and its eyes are small, so it seems that the larva is smiling all the time. Such an unusual combination looks at the same time strange, cute and even a little creepy. In any case, axolotls definitely have no problems attracting attention, so they are often brought as pets. People are interested in watching the transformation of the axolotl into a full-fledged amphibian. Tree kangaroo Many people know only about one kind of kangaroo, the big red one. At most, most people know about two species, the big red and the giant, but there are other interesting marsupials. For example, tree kangaroos with their unusual and cute cubs. Like other kangaroos, these cubs are born very tiny. Some newborns weigh less than a gram and are the size of a bean. In the bag, they are worn out and strengthened, in fact, in the same way as in the case of other kangaroos. There the kids gain strength and eat. It will take about a year before these cute creatures start an independent life. 
It is also interesting for tree kangaroos and does not look like the life of kangaroos familiar to everyone. These animals live up to their name and live in trees, on which they climb and jump perfectly. At night, these animals go in search of food, descending to the ground. They eat fruits and leaves. Tree kangaroos look unusual, but as for me, these creatures have an even more unusual appearance. These are nosers, amazing thin-bodied monkeys. These monkeys are common only on the island of Barneo in Indonesia. Of course, the main feature of these creatures is their giant cucumber-like nose. Interestingly, the cubs do not have this option. The cubs look like quite ordinary monkeys. However, already in the early stages of life, their nose is slightly turned up and bulges. Only males can grow a huge schnobel, they need it to attract females. But it doesn't work the way you might think. Females are not guided by the size of the nose. The fact is that the larger the male's nose, the louder the mating calls he can make, and this is the main way to attract potential partners. Curiously, the initiative to mate does not come from the male, but from the female, so the male only needs to call the lady. Armadillo Small armadillos look not only cute, but also unusual. Personally, they remind me of some unearthly creatures. They look like their parents, who themselves look very cute and unusual. In the litter of a female armadillo, there are usually from 2 to 12 cubs. The main feature of armadillo pregnancy is that no one knows exactly how long it will last. Some females give birth after a few weeks, and some only after a few years. This is because armadillos are able to delay their pregnancy in case of danger or being in uncomfortable conditions. Also, the embryo field is characteristic of armadillos. They give birth to several twins developing from a single egg. Therefore, either males or females will be born. Brother and sister cannot be from the same litter. The fox. If the cubs of armadillos are very similar to their parents, then with foxes everything is a little more complicated. In their cubs, it is difficult to recognize the most beautiful and deceitful predator. Foxes are more like puppies or cubs, but this is not surprising, because foxes belong to the canine family. The pregnancy of a fox lasts about one and a half to two months. From four to thirteen foxes are born, by the way, it is more correct to call them puppies in a scientific way. At first they are covered with dark brown fur. As it often happens, in the first days the cubs are completely helpless, blind and deaf, but a couple of weeks after birth they see clearly, begin to hear and their first teeth erupt. Foxes are also unusual in the sense that both parents take part in the upbringing of cubs, this is not so often found in the animal world. The father and mother exercise extreme caution at this time and, in case of a threat, immediately transfer the cubs to a spare burrow. As they grow up, the foxes begin to go hunting with their parents. They are not the most diligent students, and while their mother and father show them how to get prey, the foxes play with each other and stick to their parents, which can spoil the hunt and even endanger the whole family. No matter how naughty the foxes are, it's hard to argue with the fact that they are very cute. The next heroes of the collection are no less cute, because they are seals. Agree, even adult seals look cute due to their awkward body, plump physique, folds and clumsiness. The cubs are even cuter. Pregnancy in seals lasts a long time, from 270 to 350 days, depending on the species. Usually only one cub is born, which, like a fox, is correctly called a puppy. Cute and funny baby seals are born with white fur that protects them from the cold for the first three to four weeks. Then this fur is replaced by the usual short and stiff gray hair covering for seals. And over time, the cub turns into a full-fledged adult. However, not everyone is lucky. Those adult seals that we see are the real lucky ones, because half of all the seals die before they even live to be a year old. Who do you think is so unusual settled here on the arm? Maybe an anteater?
Or is it a platypus again, only some other and new one? In fact, it's not a platypus, but its neighbor, Snidely. They really are a bit alike. And, by the way, not only externally. Echidnas, like platypuses, lay eggs. This happens three to four weeks after mating, and after another ten days a pug hatches from the egg, this is what the echidna cubs are called. It is very tiny, at first it weighs only half a gram, and its length is about one and a half centimeters, but after a couple of months the eagle is significantly transformed, increasing its weight almost a thousand times. At the same time, he grows those very thorns. From now on, his mother leaves him in hiding and periodically visits him to feed him. In total, the mother takes care of the cub for about 200 days, after which he leaves the burrow and begins to lead an independent lifestyle. Puberty in Australian echidnas occurs at about 2 to 3 years. And that's it, write in the comments, which animal's cub did you like the most? And if it was interesting, then subscribe to the channel and like it. Thanks for watching.